Warning, liquid nitrogen can cause severe frostbite damage and should be handled safely. I am not responsible for any injuries that take place due to the temptation of viewers. Hey, this is Drewky Powell, and today I'm going to be doing some nitrogen experiments. Um, here I have some liquid nitrogen, and I'm pouring it into a bowl. And um, this stuff's rather cold. We're going to be freezing some flowers today and breaking them. And we're doing some other experiments, too. Um, I'll have more videos soon on this. And uh, here I'm about to dunk one in. And there it goes. And it doesn't take that long at all to freeze these. Liquid nitrogen's temperature is usually around minus 322.6 degrees Fahrenheit. And its boiling point is minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit. And here they're breaking quite nicely. Now we're going to freeze a tennis ball. Here, let me add the nitrogen. I'm going to hit it with a hammer. That fog that you're seeing isn't really a nitrogen gas going from liquid to gas. What it is is it's condensed water vapor from the air. Here we have a ping pong ball in a beaker, and we're going to submerge it in liquid nitrogen. And before this, I wrote some Sharpie on it so you can see it while it's spinning. Um, we poke two holes on each side of the ping pong ball, and we poked them at an angle where it should spin if something was, uh, was pushing out of those holes. So when we put it in the liquid nitrogen, it's going to cool down the ping pong ball and the uh, gas inside the ping pong ball will compress and um, and when it heats back up when it's out of the nitrogen it's going to push out the holes causing the ping pong ball to spin and it's about to go here and there it goes Now I'm pouring some nitrogen on a table, and um, as you can see, it's acting rather strange. And what it's doing is called the Leidenfrost effect. From you can do this with some water on a super hot plate, but 
in the perspective of the liquid nitrogen, the table is r rather hot. So, what it's doing is it's creating a cushion of steam below the nitrogen so that the nitrogen can hover above the surface that it's laying on. Thanks for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment.